What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. We just want to brighten up the place. Let's get into this conversation about Tyrese and the Breakfast Club situation where he was confronted by DJ Envy. On those psych meds and you can say that you weren't. You but as a man, some of the things that you said, Tyrese, deserved me to box your mouth. Whoa, and I didn't, no, 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 we were talking because this is something that I never wanted to say. And since he wants to be, well, why, Envy? I'm telling him why. You said disrespectful shit to my wife. What do you say? It's neither here nor there. To the point where, while my wife doesn't call you back anymore. And to the point, when you started talking to psych meds, I, me and my wife had a conversation. He said, well, maybe Tyrese was on those medicines when he said. But if you ever text me and my wife, you can't text me because I blo- I just unblocked you probably about a month ago when me and Charlamagne was talking. And he told me that you were on the psych meds and this is what it was. It was that's why I'm, ago, yeah, that's yeah. what made me unblock you. So that was the reason why I stopped talking to you and would not reach out to you anymore. Because I'm like, I don't want, want to remember my brother as that. And maybe you were going through problems. So if somebody talks to, if I talk maybe. to your wife... If I talk to your I wife was. disrespectful, I don't expect for you to come check on me. Okay. And that's how I felt at that time. That you were on those psych meds and you could say that you weren't. You mean? But as a man, some of the things that you said, Tyrese, and that was my brother and helped my relationship. Not the Tyrese that I was going through. So I took a step back from so you. So you got the text we had a messages of the psych mad Tyrese? He did. That oh, was you crazy. Good. Charlamagne told you to suck his dick before on that message. Because you was talking crazy. Whoa, whoa. You know that. We hey, had this conversation already. But he I, said, he literally said, I don't, I don't, he said, like, I don't I, remember any of that. But, 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 I don't but, remember what I said that made you say that but, but or to this made point, you but, feel that way. But to this point, I stuck, uh, took a step back because I didn't know what you were going through. And I tried to talk to you and, and I seen who you were. And I didn't even like who you were online. And to my point, I tried. And when I seen how you were talking this way, I said, I'm going to take a step back. And you know, when, I, when me and Tyrese convenient. had a conversation. How convenient? Yeah, how convenient. Yeah, when when the way you were talking, the way that you were. How can... How he, he, was, he was on the psych meds then. Because you, you, you said you don't even so remember a lot a, of the stuff you were saying. Though. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't at all. Yeah. So to, just like when you get drunk, do you hold your boy to what he's saying while he's drunk? No, I never held that against you. Okay. Do you hold anybody to anything that they're doing when you know that this is their usual self? They were drunk. They were out of their mind. And they end up saying and doing some shit that hurt my feelings, that was offensive, that made me feel a way. But I know that characteristically, that's not who this man is. Well, yeah, see, see the, the difference is, I don't, I, I honestly don't know what psych meds you, you were on or who you, you were doing that point. I don't, I don't know. It. I don't know. I don't, it's I don't know. Salty. It's called salty. I don't know. I never had a conversation with you because I never wanted to see you like that. The person who spoke to me on these texts spoke to my wife during that time at the text. I didn't like that. And I wanted to remember Tyrese. And he, he, he was, you, a lot of people don't tell. But maybe okay. I should have been had this wait, conversation. Wait, no, no, no. Listen. This listen. is great. We have it when God wants us to have it. That's it. And, and I'm going to say this because this is not the first time I've said this. The things that I said and did, the people that I rubbed the wrong way, the things that I posted, my conduct overall that was literally out of my control, I've literally prayed that people can find it in their heart to not hold me to something that I said and did while I was literally out of my mind. Listen, so that was a part of the quote unquote interview (laughs) on the Breakfast Club, which I feel was extremely inappropriate. Listen, I have my issues with Tyrese. He's good commentary and a good laugh every once in a while, especially the infamous viral what more do you want from me video you know what I mean but that was extremely inappropriate and DJ Envy I have my issues with him I haven't talked about it here over on my podcast but he's going through some litigation right now that he's trying to be dismissed from because he doesn't want to take any accountability or any responsibility for the actions that he took to get people to invest their money in real estate and his partner Caesar Pina he claims has stolen a lot of money from him too but yet he hasn't sued his partner but he doesn't want to be involved in the litigation where all of these people are suing his partner and himself for 
a lot of money for these real estate deals that never came to be. But this isn't about that, so I'm not going to go into all of that right now. But I feel that this interview, quote unquote interview, if you want to call it that, because I don't even feel like it was an interview. I felt like this was just extremely inappropriate because if DJ Envy wanted to have a conversation with Tyrese, that was not the place to do it. And I don't know what type of company they're running over there, the Breakfast Club, but this is something that would even be allowed. But this was not an interview. This was an ambush. And have, you know, your feelings and thoughts about Tyrese, because I definitely do. I definitely do. But I can call a thing a thing. And I don't have to care for someone and see that something that they may have experienced or gone through wasn't right. And that wasn't right. So if DJ Envy felt like he could not have a sit-down interview conversation with Tyrese, then he should have dismissed and excused himself from being there. That was completely wrong. That was completely wrong. So for those of us who watch it or listen to it, consume it, however you want to you know, say it, and then those of us like myself who may give commentary about it, it may be cool for those reasons, but for the sake of what that was supposed to be, being an interview, that was wrong. That was an ambush, okay? For him to (laughs) say the things that he said to Tyrese, Tyrese was sitting there like really flabbergasted, like, is this really happening right now? So I'm going to play some of this video that Tyrese did on his social media in response to that. Y'all know that I could make the choice to go to both of them. But I'm not going to do it. The choice that I'm going to make. Is to wish them well. In their careers. Their marriage. Their family. I want the best for them. I really do. I want to say thank you to Jess. I hope they, um, I hope they add you to, I hope they officially add you to the show. And I hope nobody attacks you or come at you because you actually had the only heart in the room so I'm in the middle of expressing my vulnerabilities and all this stuff that I've been carrying and festering from certain things that they've said and choices they've made and how they have went about being insensitive about my stuff I appreciate Jess for just stepping in and wanting to keep the conversation. Definitely didn't plan on getting emotional and live, but it's all fresh. One thing y'all need to know is I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna get through this process. I'm gonna take this journey. But I'm gonna have to grow up When you think of life, you're going to have to start thinking of it as stock. And there's areas of stock in your life where the the value is low. There's some areas that you really got to grow in. Then there's those areas where the stock is really high. All right, so I'm going to stop it right there because, you know, Tyrese, he loves to go on these tangents and (laughs) he loves to sound so intelligent and all that other stuff. I'm trying to give you grace right here, brother. So I'm going to stop it right there before I start judging. (laughs) Okay, but listen, I don't have a problem with him coming out and responding to that because they embarrassed him and ambushed him, mainly DJ Envy. 
on a public platform. And that wasn't cool. That was just not the place to do that because that was something personal, okay? And so I don't have a problem with him coming out and responding to that publicly because it was done to him publicly. But Tyrese really needs to get off of social media and get with a therapist, even if it's somebody online. We know he loves to be online, so find a therapist that can assist you online. And that needs to be the place where he chooses to share the majority of the things that's going through his mind and his feelings because doing it all over social media, bashing or talking about his ex-wife and all that other stuff, that's not it. So for those who already feel that he's disgraceful for how he has been continuously coming online and talking about his ex-wife, a lot of people are not going to feel sorry for him. But I will definitely say this. I do believe that what DJ Envy did was absolutely wrong. It wasn't cool. And Tyrese coming out and sharing his feelings and emotions in regards to that situation, that's fine as well. He has the right to do that. You can't treat someone horribly and then tell them how they should handle the situation. But also, we can say, even though it doesn't have anything to do, one doesn't have anything to do with the other, but we can say that he has been coming online a lot and talking about his ex-wife, and that isn't any of our business either. So he needs to stop bringing his private information to public forums and platforms for we, the people, to hear about it because his ex-wife did come out and respond to him doing that and saying that it's embarrassing. So we could say that's a little bit of karma. Like, how does it feel, you know? How do you think your ex-wife feels, the mother of your child feels with you constantly coming on a a public platform to discuss her, whether the things are true or not, and now someone did that to you. It's not cool, right? How does it feel? Hmm? So anyway, guys, I just wanted to talk about that. Let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section. Thanks so much for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.